Despite the state's promotional efforts, some state lawmakers are hoping to stop the vaccine lottery before it starts. Two News reporter Adam Reif is live at the regional lottery office to explain what could come next. Brooke, State Senator Naraj Antani told me that some lawmakers are exploring those legislative options to stop the lottery, saying it's not how they think taxpayer money should be used. But ODH not only saying it's perfectly legal, but it's wildly successful, generating attention just as it was supposed to. Unfortunately, I think it might actually work. It may actually uh, incentivize people who haven't gotten vaccinated to get vaccinated. State Senator Naraj Antani's concern is not with people getting vaccinated, it's with using taxpayer money to do it. The General Assembly could act to stop this. I, I hope we do act swiftly to to stop, you know, this abuse of taxpayer dollars. ODH is looking for innovative ways to educate people about the vaccine and the five separate million dollar prizes and college scholarships are generating a lot of buzz. This particular uh, Promotion has been a great use of dollars. But State Senator Antani says he's hearing lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have concerns with the lottery, saying lawmakers will look at their options in the coming days. I think we should either be, you know, using this to give to our hospital systems who have been overburdened by COVID patients to be given to uh, struggling bars and restaurants who've been hit hard, not for this vaccine lottery. ODH insists using some of the CARES Act funding on the lottery is legal and so far very successful. More than 25,000 shots were administered Friday, including a 6% increase in the 30 to 74 age group. Proof ODH says it's turning the tide. Not only have we achieved our goal of increasing public awareness and interest, at, but we have slowed what was a consistent decline in uptake, and in certain age groups, we're seeing an increase. And again, the registration for the vaccine lottery goes live at 9 a.m. tomorrow. On our website right now, we have more information on eligibility requirements and a link to register. That's all in this web story at WDTN.com. Live in Dayton, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.